Hey, good morning. Let me uh, take a minute to apologize for the sound quality here. I cannot seem to get a good sound with uh, the plug-in microphones anymore in the car. It would appear that my 2005 Chevy Trailblazer is vibrating so much nowadays that I just can't seem to get a good recording with that. So I thought I would just go right into the phones uh, built in uh, today for this really kind of brief update. What I wanted to just take a minute to do is just share a few things that are coming up down the road here regarding uh, our verse by verse Bible studies and some of the content that we uh, post both here uh, on our YouTube channel with our podcast but also on our Sunday morning uh, um, uh, studies as well. If you've been following along for any length of time, uh, you know that we are all about going through the Word of God. It's important to us to study the scriptures, uh, to know what God has to say, both about our our faith, our, our way of living out our faith, the things that are coming down the road. We do a lot of prophecy updates and things like that. We believe in uh, the overarching theme of discipleship in this podcast. We, it's important for us not just to study things just for the sake of gaining some head knowledge, but that we might really truly grow deeper in our relationship with the Lord, which is really what it's all about. So that being said, that is kind of an undergirding theme, both in terms of our daily uh, posts, but also uh, I consider pulpit ministry in general to be that, a discipleship uh, oriented ministry. And so on our Sunday mornings, we well, very much approach it the same way. And so that being said, you, uh, if you've been following along both on our daily posts or on our Sunday morning uh, live streams at, uh, at our church, which by the way, if you're not and you'd like to, uh, we don't live stream. I have all kinds of issues getting things to live stream on YouTube and Facebook when I'm uh, when we're at church using the other equipment. And so if you want to watch our live streams on Sunday morning, you can uh, just go to calvarychapelfranklin.com and you can just uh, click on the podcast tab and then you'll be able to watch the, the live stream on Sunday mornings. I think you can also watch it on our homepage as well. But so there's um, there's uh, there's our Sunday mornings, there's our dailies, there's our Wednesday nights. We've started live streaming as well. So uh, um, if, if you want to watch those, that's how you can do that. So, but as far as the content we're going to be covering, uh, we are just about to finish the Gospel of John, and that's going to be this coming Sunday. We'll wrap up with chapter 21 uh, in the post-resurrection appearances of Christ to his disciples. And uh, I have really loved going through the Gospel of John. I love going through any Gospel, really. Uh, as a matter of fact, in our when our church started in uh, uh, 2009, we had just finished the Gospel of Matthew in our home Bible study, and uh, and once we finished that, we began Sunday mornings, and we began Sunday mornings in the book of Acts, uh, which interestingly is what we're doing on our daily posts here, is our verse-by-verse -verse study right now, we're going through the book of Acts, uh, it's a wonderful look at the first century church and the things that we might glean and learn uh, as we um, live out our faith following the Lord in our day, especially in these last days leading up to his return. Uh, so we did the book of Acts, then we did a handful of the New Testament epistles, then we went and did the Gospel of Mark. Did a few more of the New Testament epistles, then we uh, did uh, the Gospel of Luke, where we spent a good while as well. That's the longest of the Gospels. And uh, so we, uh, we spent the longest amount of time in the Gospel of Luke. And then we did uh, the remaining New Testament epistles, except for the writings of John, which we, uh, uh, my intention was to take John's writing as a block. Well, uh, finishing the Gospel of John, my initial thought was that I would go through, uh, move right on to 1 John, 2nd, 3rd, and then move into the book of Revelation. However, uh, after praying about it for some time and after just kind of assessing where we are and, and, uh, and our need to understand uh, God's plan uh, for the last days, I've decided on Sunday mornings we're going to go through uh, the book of Revelation starting in a few weeks once we... Uh, finish John this Sunday. There'll be a week in between, and then we'll go ahead and plan on starting the book of Revelation, God willing. And uh, uh, I was glad to see our church's response to that. We have a lot of people that are very excited to get into the book of Revelation. I've been very excited since we started the New Testament to finally uh, get here, so this is really exciting for me too. And uh, and I think it's also a very important study for us uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, you know, not the least of which is the fact that uh, a lot of churches are don't don't want to go to prophecy in general and the book of Revelation specifically. And so we're going to try and do in our normal, non-sensationalized kind of way, just begin to uh, break down and, and seek to understand the book of Revelation. There's obviously a lot of really, really interesting things in this letter that, uh, in, this, uh, in this book that, that I think do uh, confuse and, and frankly sometimes freak people out. And so 
uh, for us to take a, a good uh, a good uh, pace and a good slow pace and just break it down and understand it is just going to be to our benefit. So we're going to go ahead and start doing that on Sunday mornings in the next couple of weeks. So if you'd like to follow that again, you can go to CalvaryChapelFranklin.com and you can watch them live streamed on Sundays, or if you want, you can uh, wait for the podcast to post, uh, typically on Mondays following the Sunday studies. And so, and then as far as first, second, third John, we're not going to set those aside. Actually, we're going to integrate those into our daily posts uh, as well. So we'll be going through the book of Acts. We'll be interdispersing uh, the, 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 the epistles of John. Of course, we'll continue to periodically do our prophecy updates and other topics and stuff. You know, because we post daily, uh, uh, we have a lot more opportunities to go through these things. And so we're going to go ahead and, and, and add John's writings into our daily updates as well. So you can uh, soon we'll start First John uh, as well so we can pick that up. So um, so that being said, I just wanted to share just a few of those things just so you have an idea of what's going to be going on in the days ahead. Uh, you know, if you've been following for a while, you know that I live every day with the expectancy that Jesus can come snatch away his bride. Of course, none of us is guaranteed another breath anyway. There's always the chance that we're going to see him today. But my sense is that he's going to come for his bride very soon. And it just, uh, it really, uh, it just, I just feel a certain sense of, uh, of a need for focus and intention about being about his business before he comes. Uh, I don't think I've ever not had that in my Christian life, but, but the idea that it is soon coming, uh, I really put an emphasis on soon. And so it's, uh, I just, you know, it's kind of just kind of fueling my fire a little bit. So uh, I want to make sure that we can cover as much of the Word of God as we can, that we can really consider how we integrate uh, our understanding of Scripture and the things that the, the writers of the Bible have taught us, uh, really integrate it into our faith so we can live it out as fully as possible in the days ahead. Uh, just, you know, lighting even all the brighter that, that, that lamp uh, that, that we should cover with a bushel, you know. So uh, that being said, just wanted to share a few thoughts and uh, glad you're along uh, reading through the scriptures with us and going through these things. Uh, we love that uh, so many of you have started joining our, our Wednesday night live stream. Uh, that's exciting. If you subscribe to our podcast here on YouTube, you can also uh, click where it, it will let you know uh, whenever we go live or post something new. So there, uh, if you want to follow us on Wednesday nights, we're trying to keep that uh we're trying to make that something that even if you're not able to join us in person, that you can still participate uh, on YouTube live with us, asking questions or commenting and those kinds of things. So uh, if you want to subscribe, you can be alerted every time we go live on a Wednesday night, but it's seven o'clock central time, uh, uh, just so you know. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Um, God, we just thank you, Father, for being so gracious to us and for loving us and for giving us so many opportunities to get together in the Word, to consider um, that which you've spoken to us and to digest it and to let it uh, truly just fill our hearts, flood our minds, and affect our lives. Uh, we know that Jesus will be coming, uh, and I believe soon, to come and collect his bride. And so the days are growing shorter. The time is coming soon where we're going to punch out and go home. Help us to be mindful of that and to just pour ourselves into that which you'd have us do uh, in these days. Father, the, the days are not only growing shorter, as it were, but they're also growing darker. And your desire is for your church to be a witness uh, to the world around about your grace and goodness, the beautiful gospel of salvation, uh, the fact that one day we'll see you face to face. What a beautiful, beautiful thing to anticipate. So uh, just fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit. Let him fall upon us. Empower us for all of that which you've called us to do. Equip us for that work that we might bring you glory, that we might see tremendous fruit, uh, and that we might just, um, again, be a people who are prepared to meet the Lord. So thank you, Father. We love you, and we ask all this in Jesus' name.